everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm here with Neat and Tangled and we're collaborating with Cosmo Cricut to share with you some fun inspiration using both Neat and Tangled and Cosmo Cricut products. I'm going to be using some of the Cosmo Cricut Art Deck product today and I'm going to be showing you how you can create some beautiful watercolor images and use them on your cards with some Neat and Tangled products. This is the Art Deck book and this comes with so many cute resist papers, both in a foil and traditional embossed resist. So many beautiful patterns and really great images included in this art deck. And I'll go ahead and show you here the variety of images that I really liked. And then also there's a bunch more in this book that you can use to watercolor and then use in your projects. So what you could do is you could make a whole bunch of these, watercolor them, and then use them in both card making, scrapbooking, and other art journaling projects that you have. So that's a really fun product to have on hand and definitely worth picking up. Now what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be creating my own shimmer watercolors using my Fine Tech watercolor palette and also Distress Inks. Now to do my shimmer watercoloring, I want to make some shimmer water. So that way I don't have to worry about picking up Fine Tech watercolors and going back over top of things I've already colored or having to worry about putting too much gold watercolor on them because they just want to shimmer. I don't want them to look gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a bunch of this gold watercolor from my watercolor palette and put it into this empty jar. I'm going to fill the jar with water. So as you can see here, I've put some water into the jar. I'm going to mix it up, get it nice and shimmery, and I'll add a little bit more until I have the desired consistency of shimmer versus water that I'm looking for. And then I'll go ahead and start with my distressed watercoloring. I'm putting down a few inks here. This is Tumbled Glass, Mermaid Lagoon, and Wilted Violet. I'm going to start off with this panel here. I'm going to be doing an ombre of color here and what I'm doing is I'm first applying a coat of that gold shimmer water onto the paper. Once I've added that shimmer water, I'm going to come back in with my Distress Inks and start creating my ombre color. I'm going to add this on top of all that embossed resist and I'm picking up water from the shimmer water to go ahead and put down onto my inks. So to wet my inks, I'm getting that shimmer water and that's creating this gorgeous shimmery watercolor. It's really, really beautiful and really fun. When I'm changing between colors, I have this other palette of water here on the left hand side that I'm rinsing my brush off in. And then for my water to paint with, I'm picking it up from that gold shimmer water. And that's going to make sure that the shimmer water stays nice and clean, but also make sure that I have plenty of shimmer in there for my water coloring. So I'm going to color in this flower now. I use some wild honey for the middle, and then a mixture of wild honey and festive berries in the center, and then a mixture of festive berries and seedless preserves along the outer edges, and that creates a gorgeous color tone of a flower. For my last panel, I'm going to be using this sky background that says Dream Big, and it has some stars on it. I wanted to create a galaxy background with this. So I'm taking some tumble glass, wild honey, Mermaid Lagoon and also some Wilted Violet and I'm going to mix these together to create a really gorgeous galaxy background. I'm putting down blobs of color to create my galaxy first. This is my initial layer and while this looks kind of goofy right now because you've got all these splotches of color, it's going to look amazing by the time we're finished. I'm going to add in more of the Wild Honey and go back over top of the areas in the same color tone. So I'm going back over top of the Wilted Violet with another layer of Wilted Violet. I'm going back over top of the wild honey with more wild honey and I'm letting the colors overlap a little bit but not too much and I'm drying in between each layer. That's going to maintain the color saturation and not let the colors blend too much. Now that I've got all of my color down, I'm going to take some black watercolor. This is from a Prima watercolor palette and I mixed it with some of that gold shimmer water and I'm going to start creating the last layer for my galaxy background. Galaxy backgrounds look amazing when you add black because it adds a lot of contrast and really helps it have that night sky appearance. And of course all these resist papers are resisting the color that we put down on top so the pattern that is in the resist is showing up beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and continue adding this black until I've got it completely covered. And again this really looks kind of funny because there's so many splotches of color. But once we start adding the stars and this thing dries, it really looks like a galaxy. It looks absolutely amazing. So here it is drying and now I'm going to take some fine tech gold watercolors again. This is the white gold color. I'm going to splatter on a bunch of droplets in that white gold pattern. This looks really really great and adds that nice shimmery appearance, makes it look a lot more like stars. And I'll go ahead and put a ton of those all over this background. Now I also wanted some bigger splatters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake it and just kind of go back over top of certain ones and dab on some color and that just makes some of the stars a little bit bigger and have a little bit more of a bolder appearance. Next it's time to work on our embellishments. I'm taking some gold foil paper here, this is from Silhouette. 
and I'm going to die cut it with some stars from Neat and Tangled's Scored Shape Die Set. I really love this die set because you can create some really great embellishments that have a bit of a dimensional look because they're scored in the middle, so it allows you to fold them and have this really nice dimensional appearance. I'm going to die cut those same stars from some white cardstock as well, and this is going to give me a much thicker embellishment. It's going to be a lot more sturdier. Now this gold foil paper is actually uh, adhesive back, so I can take those white cardstock pieces and attach them directly to the back side of my gold foiled stars, and that'll allow me to, again, have that dimensional embellishment and also give them a much more sturdier feel. Now I'll go ahead and do that for all the stars, and I, I ended up die cutting a bunch of them, so I ended up doing this a bunch more times, but here you can see just an example of how I put these together. Really easy to do. So here are all those stars. I'm taking some adhesive, this is liquid glue, and I'm just putting this on the back side of that score line, nowhere else, just on the back side of the score line. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down onto my galaxy background. I'm making sure I get them placed down well, and I don't want to smoosh them too much because I want them to be able to dry along that score line and not have any glue squishing out on the other sides of that score line because that'll kind of glue the rest of the star down. And I just want the score line to be glued down because that's going to allow me to have that dimension. Now I'm going to take some fun foam and put it on the back side of my panel here. I'm just using some scraps that I've had in my stash. I don't like to throw those away because I know I can get use out of them. And I can either pair them up together to cover an entire background, or I can use them on smaller pieces when I need them. Now finally, I want to add some embellishing with these Nouveau Crystal Drops. This is a silvery color, and I just love how beautiful this is. I'm going to be applying these crystal drops onto my background. The best way to apply the crystal drops is to make sure you don't push the tip of the nozzle onto the paper and rather hold it above the paper and just allow the crystal droplets to literally drop onto your paper and that will give you much more dimensional embellishment and also prevent them from being smudged. So I'm using some clear crystal drops here now and I'm just putting that over top of some of the foiled polka dots and that's going to finish up this card. I really love how this galaxy background turned out and here you can see the dimension of both the stars and the Nouveau crystal drops. Really, really beautiful and so much fun. And that shimmer in the watercolor really make these backgrounds have a step up above normal watercoloring. It's a really fun technique, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Here's a close-up look at that beautiful galaxy background and how fun it was to create. And I love how the Cosmo Cricut art deck really allows you to create some really fun cards very quickly with these fun emboss resist patterns. Here's a close-up look of how I finished up that card that we did the ombre watercoloring on. I added some gold splatters to bring out the gold in that foiling on our embossed resist pieces. And then I also matted that with some dark blue cardstock that matched some of the Mermaid Lagoon color that we have in there. And then for my flower card, I created this beautiful Just Because card using a neat and tangled stamp set and also the new doily tag die. I loved how these items paired together to create this nice striking bold card. And the center of the flowers was actually created with an ivory colored crystal drops bottle. I love how it adds that nice, beautiful, dimensional look to the center and also gives this card a nice dressed up feel. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and got some inspiration on using not only Neat and Tangled products, but also some of the Cosmo Cricut Art Deck papers. Here's another video you might enjoy featuring Neat and Tangled stamps and dies. You can find me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, as well as my blog. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you again soon.